We had another really long day yesterday and late night last night getting all of the coats of poly down on this main level. That poly process just takes so much time, especially on this main level because mm -hmm. it's about three times the size of the upstairs. And then you put down a coat, you have to wait two hours for it to dry, another coat, two hours, another coat, two hours, and so on. So. It was a long day and a long night, but we got it done, mm -hmm. and now we're at the point where it's just the odds and ends of this build to uh, finish it up. We're at the end, guys. I keep saying it. Say he it says again. it every time. We're at the end. We're almost there. The excitement's real. <laughs> Now that it's in, we still need to build out for the gaps on both corners. As you guys remember, we actually shrunk this entire room up and the cabinet didn't fit, so we swapped a few cabinets out and uh, gave us a little bit of a gap. And uh, we're going to pretty much cut down some trim, put it in there, and close it off nice. Wow. I used to look up at the stars and get jealous of the sky. So obviously a little bit more needs to be done here in the kitchen. All of the appliances are in place, but we have a panel that's gonna be installed right here on the side of the refrigerator. We need to close the gap at the top where it meets the cabinet. There's crown molding that's gonna go around these upper cabinets. We obviously still need countertops and backsplash that's going to go in. The backsplash is going to go all the way up behind the range that's right here. So all of that still needs to get buttoned up, but we wanted to get the appliances moved in because we are going to be having rain today, I think tomorrow and potentially the next day also. So we obviously don't want them sitting outside and it's really cold in here and we didn't finish up the HVAC. So we want to go ahead and get heat turned on. Warming it up in here is priority. So the original plan was to put the outdoor unit on that side of the house. And so we got a 25 foot and also a 15 foot piece of line set and we're going to couple them together but we actually moved the outdoor unit to over here. I'm hoping the 15 foot's gonna work. If it does, it's gonna be very tight. What we're gonna need to do first is go up out there, open the outdoor unit up, and then get a precise measurement. Um, it can be because I won't be surprised if I'm using a 25 footer. I like to use a 15 footer, but uh, things don't always go my way, so we'll play it by ear. The 15 feet of line set was a little bit too short, so we went with the 25 foot roll and we're going to have a few feet coiled up and tied in. So the directions show not to have it go long and then pull tight, just leave it in a coil, a nice little circle and then tie it in, so that's how we're going to do it. So once the exterior unit is wired up and line set's connected, we'll go back inside and we'll start wiring up the inside unit. Mr. Cool sends you these male adapters that go on the inside unit, they also go on the outside unit, and that's what connects the, the unit to the line set. Twist them all together is pretty easy. Once the side's hooked up, we'll go through and terminate all of the thermostat wire. Once that's done, we got heat, baby. I can't wait. I know. And it's these, so cold in here. <laughs> and these things are supposed to be very efficient. So I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to get it turned on. Yeah, me too. One of the challenges that we had with renovating this house was actually making an HVAC system fit in here because the house was not built with any HVAC system. There was no ductwork and there really wasn't even room for an HVAC system. It doesn't fit in the crawl space below us and there is no mechanical room or anything inside of here with the way that the house originally was built for us to put anything in. So what we did was build this little storage space back here, which runs underneath these stairs and into this room that we also built. It's a small like mechanical room. We call it the owner's closet. 
and it runs all the way up to the second floor. So we're able to fit the unit in here and run everything through there up to the second floor. And then we also had to do faux beams and different chase walls throughout the house so that all of the rooms could get airflow. It worked out, but it used up a little bit of space and it was tricky figuring out how we could make it work inside this house and still have a lot of usable space. But it was worth it because everybody these days wants heat and air conditioning in the house, especially if it's going to be a guest house or a vacation home for people to come to. So it was definitely a necessary challenge to tackle and make work. Didn't use a wrench, but it's a little tight spot, so channel lock save the day again. You know you can put a house with these things. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Hope you know that. Channel lock for the win again. <laughs> So the thermostat we're hooking up, we're able to monitor it from our cell phone at the house and uh, we, can, we can adjust so if nobody's going to be here, we can save some energy by either lowering the AC or lowering the heat or whatever we need to do, we can make that work. See that come through girl? Yeah, I see it. Grab it. Got it. Try pull a little bit, hold up. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh. You got it? With the renovation house almost fully complete, we are ready to start decorating, getting all of the furniture moved in, and getting all of the beds ready for our guests. You guys know that we've been sleeping on our Helix mattress for well over a year now and we absolutely love it. So we are so excited to have Helix sponsoring today's video and also giving all of our guests that come to stay with us the best sleep ever. Helix has premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door for free within the US. Everyone is different and Helix knows that, which is why they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's a perfect compromise for both of you. Based on our results, Helix matched us with their Midnight Lux mattress. It's perfect for the side and stomach sleepers like Josh and I who like a medium feel mattress. As you guys know, we've been sleeping on our Helix mattress for well over a year now and loving it. The reason why I love it so much is to help support my back and uh, no more back pain in the morning and I wouldn't trade it for another mattress. I'm just so excited to get to share this with the people that come and stay at our house. You're going to love it. <laughs> I know. Yes. With your Helix sleep mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and there are financing options as well as flexible payment plans. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried before, you get more than three months to try it out and make sure you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up from you and you'll get a full refund. We love our Helix and think that you would too. If you're looking for a new mattress, check out Helix. Click our link in the description box below or go to helixsleep.com slash wildwonderful for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Now let's get back to the bed. Let's go. Okay, this one. Change voltage there before we got power. And we... Do. We got power? Okay, we got power to work. So we turn power on everywhere. The indoor unit is energized. The electric heat's energized. The outdoor unit's energized. So let's hope we got this thing hooked up right. And how do I do that? I have no idea. Continue setup in Google Home app. We have no internet here yet, and there's no service here either. So we can't turn anything on. How awful is this? Oh my gosh, it's such a letdown. I can't turn anything on. <sighs> because of this. I try to go fancy, you know, so I can, so I can <laughs> do it, but there's no internet here, and I, I can't, there's no reception here either to do anything. Oh. The cold continues. I'm not gonna trip to Lowe's. Mommy, we're back at Lowe's. We live here. Yes. Daddy always forgets the <laughs> things I need to see. Is the heat turned on, girl? I bought the cheapest one, I think it's fine, and it says uh, non-programmable thermostat, so it requires an internet. What? 
This requires no internet. This does. It requires no internet. No internet. Yeah. I thought you bought another this, one that requires no. internet. <laughs> this was designed in 1985. That's why it's so cheap. Oh. And I'm putting that on today. Because mm -hmm. I need to heat this house, baby. It's together. Let's turn it on. Hopefully it works. I hear it. I hear it. I do. Um, the good thing is the transfer didn't blow. So it's hooked up right. <laughs> so... Does this mean we have heat? No, no, it does not. It means the fan's blowing. Oh. We should have heat though. <laughs> Let's see if we feel air come through. Hold on. I can smell it. I can smell the heat. The heat? It Do you feel hot air? Do you feel hot air? The warm air coming, yeah. <laughs> oh, so thankful for heat. <laughs> you guys, remember it's 12 feet tall. Yeah. It's big, it's bulky, it's heavy. I'll get one side, you guys get the other one, we'll pull it in. There you go. <laughs> I'm so excited. He's not ordering bigger this year. Yeah. It's not the Christmas tree! <laughs> Without a doubt, Josh's favorite thing about Christmas is putting as big of a tree as he possibly can into this house. It's be huge. So pretty. You like it? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So now you're a ladder, girl. It's so pretty! I just came to the realization that I need an eight foot ladder. And I don't have any ladders here. This <laughs> tree works. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single bulb out, huh? No. But yeah, we don't have a ladder. I They're know. all at the renovation house. I have a four footer down, down there, that's not gonna do anything for me. We gotta decorate this thing. Yeah. How are we, how are we gonna do it? I have a 12 footer. Where? It's beat up. It's probably not very safe to use, but I'll use it. You can put Carter on your shoulders and he can reach all the way to the top and put it up there. What do you no, think? Not, not, not. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna muscle it in. You muscle know? it in, Daddy! Get it, get it, get it! You got it! Okay, you can't let her down now. Yeah, she's okay. super stoked. I don't oh, know yeah. that. Yeah, you gotta pull through for us, okay? Let's get it, get it, get it, get it! There you go. She's in. We're good, okay. Do you realize that you're essentially taking one Christmas tree that's literally taller than you and you're putting it on top of another Christmas tree that's taller than you? Might need a chair. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Josh, you're gonna break something! Josh, Carter, we need a backup! I need a chair! I need a chair! Yeah. It might go over here. This is the kind of stuff we do that's like super sketch. Yeah. You wow. know? OMG! Look at that, mommy! That is one heck of a tree. Yes. Almost got it. You got it, Daddy! You Almost got it! Got it. So I need to get a ladder for that star. Daddy, you did it! <laughs> oh. That's how to get the ornaments out! That makes the risk of breaking your hip all worth it. She's super excited. Who cares? That's an ornament! <laughs> Who cares if dad breaks his hip? Let's decorate the tree! Wow. <laughs>
Give me number eight, Haiti. Number eight, bud. I'm pretty sure it's a fuel pump. I called uh, Kawasaki Cycle Place and uh, talking to them. I think it's a fuel pump. They told me to go ahead and start with the fuel filter. Underneath the fuel pump, so I gotta take the fuel pump out, pull the filter out, and put a new filter on, but I don't think that's the issue because it's not making any noise. Typically it makes noise. But I ordered one regardless, and they are expensive. But they're in Kentucky. That's the closest one they had, so it's gonna be a couple days. Hopefully I'm wrong and it is the filter, but I doubt it. Looks like we got a flat tire too. Yeah, and I think when the main car was going on buggy ride, he ran over a screw. That's what happened to that buggy tire? I didn't see it because he was going way too fast. Looks like it's time for you to learn how to inflate tires on a vehicle, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh, Trent Alley here.